Before looking at the construction of relative rotation graphs, let's look at the two main inputs, JDKRS ratio and JDKRS momentum. Note that both input indicators are normalized, which means these indicators are expressed in the same unit of measure and fluctuate above, below the same level, 100. This normalization process means RS ratio values for different securities can be compared, as long as the same benchmark is used. RS ratio is an indicator that measures the trend for relative performance. Similar to the price relative, RS ratio uses ratio analysis to compare one security against another, usually the benchmark. It is designed to define the trend in relative performance and measure the strength of that trend. The chart below shows the technology SPDR, XLK, in the main window. The price relative, XLK, dollar SPX ratio, in the middle window and the RRG indicators in the bottom window. We will focus on RS ratio, red, first. RS momentum, green, will be covered in the next section. RS ratio gives chartists a clear tool to define the trend in relative performance. This indicator reflects an uptrend in relative performance when above 100, relative strength, and a downtrend in relative performance when below 100, relative weakness. The further the indicator is above 100, the stronger the uptrend in relative performance. The further the indicator is below 100, the stronger the downtrend in relative performance. As with all trend-following indicators, such as moving averages, the trend-following model that powers RS ratio includes a lag period. This means there will already be upward movement in the price relative before RS ratio crosses above 100. Conversely, there will already be downward movement in the price relative before RS ratio crosses below 100. Notice on the chart on the screen, how the price relative, XLK, dollar SPX ratio, peaked in early August. But RS ratio did not cross below 100 until mid-October. Similarly, the price relative bottomed in mid-July, but RS ratio did not cross above 100 until mid-September. This is typical for trend-following indicators that are designed to ignore the blips and focus on the trend. The chart on the screen shows the consumer discretionary SPDR, XLY, with another example. Keep in mind that the values for RS ratio can be compared when using the same benchmark security. Let's assume we are comparing relative performance for four sector SPDRs against the S&P 500 and the RS ratio values are as follows. XLK equals 102.04, XLI equals 101.41, XLF equals 100.2, and XLV equals 103.66. First, all four have RS ratios above 100 and this means all four show relative strength against the S&P 500. Second, XLV shows the most relative strength because its RS ratio is the highest of the four. XLF is the weakest of the four because its RS ratio is the lowest. 